this demo, we'll showcase a comprehensive cybersecurity platform that's powered by PuppyGraph. With PuppyGraph, we can map vulnerability data stored in relational databases as a graph, allowing us to tackle practical security scenarios by running graph queries directly on these tables. I've already gone ahead and spun up the Docker container with PuppyGraph, my cybersecurity dashboard, and my Postgres database. I'll be using the default credentials, so PuppyGraph for the username, and PuppyGraph123 for the password. After we've logged in, we'll be redirected to the schema page. PuppyGraph allows us to easily map the data in our Postgres database to a graph structure defined by a JSON schema. There are several ways to do this. You can upload your schema as a JSON file that contains the catalog connectivity details, as well as how to map the data from our SQL data source to PuppyGraph. Alternatively, PuppyGraph has a create graph schema functionality where you can connect to a data source and use the UI to create a schema. We also offer some example schemas and data sets if you just want to play around with PuppyGraph. For this demo, I'll be using our UI to create the graph schema. So I'll just go ahead and click Create Graph Schema. Now, before we do anything, you'll see that at the bottom, we actually have the option to add more catalogs. And that's because PuppyGraph is a unified graph query engine that lets you connect to multiple data sources simultaneously. For each catalog, we just have to give the type, and you'll see that we actually support quite a few of them. For this demo, I'll be using PostgreSQL, give the catalog name, and include the required JDBC parameter to connect to our data source. I'll go ahead and click Save, and then Submit. I'll go ahead and add my first node type, which will be the Network Interface node. So I'll go to Database and select which table it's from, which is Network Interfaces, and then go ahead and add the node. You'll actually see that a new option opens up once we have our first node type, and it is PuppyGraph's experimental auto-suggestion feature that finds the neighbors of a given node type. So you select your starting node, and it helps to find all the neighbors of the node. And I can just go ahead and add them as neighbors. This makes it a lot easier and a lot faster to create a graph schema based on my data. So I'll just go ahead and add in the rest of the nodes and edges. After defining our nodes and edges, we're all good to go. Over here, we can see our schema.json file. And it is this very file that lets us map the data stored in our relational database as a graph without having to spin up a separate graph database instance, maintain complex ETL pipelines, or deal with the hassle of a second copy of data. We also support expressive graph query languages like Cypher and Gremlin, so you'll still have easy access to the powerful graph database capabilities that you're familiar with. Let's quickly take a look at the data that we'll be working with. So for this demo, we'll be using CVE data, also known as Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, from the National Vulnerability Database. More specifically, we're using the JSON 2.0 CVE 2025 feed, together with synthetic data representing typical cloud infrastructure components with EC2 instances, subnets, network interfaces, and inspector findings. With PuppyGraph, you can explore relationships between vulnerabilities, assets, and attack surfaces using Cypher or Gremlin queries, enabling contextual threat investigations across your infrastructure. PuppyGraph comes with an open source UI. This default dashboard is a good place for reporting and exploring the data. We can click this edit button and see that each tile is actually powered by a graph query that can be customized to your needs. Not only is it a convenient way to constantly monitor the most important graph queries, it also provides an easy way for non-technical team members to focus on the data that matters. We also have a query page where you can run your Cypher and Gremlin queries and see the results with our graph visualization tool on the right. For example, if I want to find out which of my EC2 instances are affected by the log4shell vulnerability, I can look up the CVE ID of that vulnerability 
and match for all instances that have been found to contain this vulnerability. I can also click on the notes to learn more about a particular EC2 instance. Now, if you want to have a custom UI, but with the underlying functionality of querying your relational database as a graph, Puppy Graph can also do that. We've already covered how easy it is to map your relational data as a graph with Puppy Graph, and how it bypasses a lot of the original complexity of owning and maintaining a traditional graph database setup. If you already have your dashboard, you can simply use the Puppy Graph provided Cypher API to enable a rich set of security analytics and visualization. On my screen here is a demo dashboard that is connected to Puppy Graph and the PostgreSQL database, built with Next.js and Material UI. We can see that all the data here is actually powered by Puppy Graph's query engine. The critical CVEs, security findings, EC2 instances, and network findings. Let's take a closer look at the list of CVEs. In the background, we're actually running a graph query that lets you monitor and investigate CVEs affecting your infrastructure. We can even click on them for more details regarding a particular CVE, and you'll even get multiple views from different angles. We can even visualize the security graph, which makes it a lot easier to see which assets are affected by the CVE. Let's head over to the security graph page to get a closer look at this particular vulnerability. With the security graph, you can do CVE impact analysis, such as tracing CVE propagation through security findings, identifying vulnerable instances and network exposure, assessing potential blast radius of exploitation, and prioritizing remediation based on connectivity to ensure that your security teams are focusing on what really matters. Over here, you can also see the current Cypher query that's providing the data for this visualization. So details on the CVE itself, what findings are related to the CVE, what interfaces are affected by the CVE, and what IPs have access to them, etc, etc. We can even interact with the graph. With this custom UI, we also support different views so you can narrow in on the most important questions. For example, the log4 shell attack requires accessing an LDAP server, so instances with public network exposures could be at a higher risk for these kinds of attacks. The public network access view lets you focus on detecting instances with direct network connectivity, assess log4 shell attack factors via LDAP server access, identify remote code execution opportunities, and monitor public-facing services for exploitation risk. You'll see that the query for this is a lot shorter than the previous one, and that's because we only really care about the CVE, network interfaces, and how many external IPs they connect to. For a more complex example, we also have the lateral movement risk view, which allows us to analyze network connectivity to understand the attack risk if publicly accessible nodes are compromised. Attackers tend to take very complicated paths to avoid detection, so this is where rule-based detection often struggles to keep up. With graph queries, we can map potential lateral movement from compromised public nodes, identify internal systems reachable after initial breach, assess network segmentation effectiveness against attacks, and evaluate blast radius of public node compromise. For example, we can see that this affected node can be accessed by six different external IPs, and from there, attackers can move to other clean nodes. Finally, let's take a step back and look at a sample infrastructure from a high level. With Puppy Graph, you're able to gather different data sources together with zero ETL, easily creating a centralized graph view that can now power your security dashboard. All the while, your data gets to stay securely right where you want it to.